Hey, what's up everybody? So this is a, a video about a product review. First product review I think I've ever done. Um, so I went out and bought these things called uh, JBL Kuglin Balls. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, I think it's from a company in Germany. Uh, and what they do is they make these clay balls, if you can see it right here. They basically make these clay balls that you can use for uh, depleted substrate. So my Amazonia uh, Amazonia soil is over two years old. So I figure, I think I've read somewhere that they say that after two years it starts to uh, lose a lot of its nutrients. So I decided to, you know, I decided to, you know, instead of having my plants die, I wanted to make sure that there were enough nutrients for it, so I went out and bought this, these balls, which are pretty cheap. Um, seven of these balls costed around four U.S. dollars. Um, I mean, that's pretty cheap. So, I guess it didn't hurt to try. So, what these balls are made of are essentially they're f called ferrous clay balls, but they contain 6.9 percent red iron oxide, which is a uh, Fe2 Fe203 uh, on the uh, chemistry charts or whatever it is. So um, what I did was I took these balls and I broke, I smashed them into small pieces. And with the small pieces, I basically just put them into the substrate. Um, you can see right here, for example that it leaves some traces there and I think it works because you can see the the runners came out right where the 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 iron no, sorry the clay balls were placed or the the fragments of the clay balls um, I put it all around my tank lots of different places like as you can see right here there's a whole bunch um, so I put so far about five of these balls into my tanks and I mean I think it's definitely you know help the plant growth a lot. Um, I, could, I wouldn't know for sure because I never, I mean I put these things in pretty much straight away, uh, uh, well a couple of weeks after, but I did see the you know the plant growth start to increase much more after the second week. So I mean my basic um, conclusion is that they do probably, they do actually work and that you know the red iron oxide is uh, very good for plant growth so, um, I still have two of these balls left. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't, I think I have more than enough for this tank, so maybe I'll get another tank. I don't know, but, um, I'm really happy with the results. So, I've never seen anyone do a product review on these balls. It's, if you, uh, if you search it on YouTube, there are very few videos about this company, uh, but I'm, you know, it's German, so they must be pretty good, I guess. Anyway, that's my product review for the uh, Kuglin balls. Um, if you see it in a shop, you should definitely try it. And you know, especially if your substrate is like mine, over two years old, it's probably lost a lot of its nutrients. Anyway, share any thoughts you have uh, on this product with me, or any other experiences you've had with similar products. Just leave it in the comments, and please subscribe if you can. Thank you very much. See you guys later.